Hey guys, James with Esprit Tech, and we are very excited to share with you the latest product in our Elite Series product line. Uh, these are products from Volterio, uh, and similar to the Volterio T30 that we covered for you a couple of videos back, uh, this is a power switch with telemetry. The nice thing with this new unit uh, is this is a dual battery power switch. Comes in two configurations, one we label ESC, uh, one we label power, uh, the difference being that the ESC version, which is what we have in this arrangement here, comes with JR connectors on the input and the output side, whereas the power unit comes with a little heavier gauge wire without terminals on both ends. That enables you to solder the connector of your choice, both on the output side and on the two inputs. Uh, in this configuration, we've set it up with multiplex on the output side as if we were using this with a Rex 12 or, or 11 receiver and two different input connectors, one JR connector for our small lithium ion pack, like what we're using on this other side and one of the Jetty lithium ion packs with the multiplex connector. So uh, nice and usable for everybody. A big thing to consider with this new product uh, is this is product that can be used with all other radio systems as a power switch. Uh, this does have telemetry for multiple protocols, including Futaba and Grapner Hot, uh, and it does auto sense that protocol. So if you were using this with Futaba, you would get the battery telemetry back to the receiver uh, as soon as you plug that system in. A uh, couple of things with this as well. Uh, both of the units have the ability to charge the secondary pack from the primary power source, whether that's coming from the BEC on the input side uh, and a battery on the backup side or a larger battery on the input side and a smaller battery on the backup side. A couple of things to keep in mind too, if you're using an electric power system and you have an ESC with a very large BEC and you wanna power through that, and you're a little nervous about using the smaller input connectors on the ESC version, you can still use the power version. You would simply run the BEC power through the unit and signal would bypass the unit and go directly to the receiver. Uh, we have a couple of guys running uh, larger controllers and they wanted to run their uh, BEC power through. Uh, on this unit, one of the things to consider is signal is not passed through this unit. You'll notice there is no signal wire uh, on the input side, where on the BEC side, uh, there is a signal wire on the primary lead and it will pass uh, your signal all the way through. So if you're using this with an electric power system uh, and you want to run that back power as primary and a small backup, uh, signal wire passes straight through, your throttle signal passes straight through. Uh, very simple units to use, uh, very simple set units to set up. There are a couple of things to consider uh, one of the cool things with these as well is this will take a multitude of switching inputs. So it is set up to use a mechanical switch, a touch switch, a touch slide switch, or the R3 wireless switch uh, all through the switch input. They do ship with the touch connector. So I'm going to go ahead and power one up, give you an idea how things look and how they work, uh, what you can do to set them up for telemetry. Uh, they will show up if you're using Jetty, they will show up in your Device Explorer. Uh, they are not Device Explorer communicative though, so you will not be able to log into them. Any of the changes you want to make and set up or programming are going to be done in the Jetty emulator program in your transmitter or with a handheld Jetty box. So I'm going to go ahead and power up the transmitter and get it kind of set up, give you a basic idea of what you're going to see. Using the touch switch, I'm just gonna bring this one to life, touch it till it flashes and bang, zoom, there we go. Uh, I've got the telemetry for battery one or input one operating on the first page of my telemetry or my display and the battery two on the second. Uh, currently you can see there's no amp draw on battery two because we're operating primarily off the main connector. Um, also notice there is an indicator light on the unit itself that tells you which battery or which input you're operating on. Uh, so if we were to uh, drop out our primary power source and bear with me a little bit, there we go. You'll see it immediately switches to two. 
your amperage changes on the screen right away to tell you now you're operating on that second battery input. As soon as you plug in your primary and it picks up that voltage, you're no longer gonna be operating on the secondary pack. A couple of things on this, you are able to establish a switchover voltage, uh, a point at which you want to switch from primary to secondary. Um, and you're also able, like I say, to set a charge from the primary pack to the secondary pack, including if those two packs are two different battery chemistries. Uh, all of that is set up through the Jetty Emulator program. I'm gonna jump in real quick and just give you a little bit of an idea of what's there. I'm gonna jump down to the Jetty box. We're gonna go ahead and go over and connect to our T60. Um, and we're gonna go into the settings menu. So the first thing you're gonna come through is the language, uh, of course. The next thing is the switch type. Uh, as I said, you can select between the touch switch, a mechanical switch, uh, or the wireless switch, um, like the R3 wireless. Uh, as you scroll through, you can set up that touch switch, sens touch switch sensitivity, the voltage threshold for switchover, uh, capacity re reset, which you can set that to power on. You can send that to a uh, new battery uh, capacity. So when it sees a higher voltage, it'll switch and you can set that threshold as well. Um, the charging circuit here, you can go into the charging. You can set that to charge uh, lithium ion or LiPo. Uh, you can also set that to charge LiFe and the point to which you want to be charged to. We're going to go ahead and we're running lithium ion to life E. So we'll go ahead and set that up. And now we are actually pulling charge from our primary LiPo down to the life E pack to keep the two of them balanced. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set that back to normal because that's uh, not something necessary for what we're doing with it here. Very simple. If you were to navigate out of settings and get into service, you ever need to do factory uh, reset to factory default, uh, you can navigate uh, into the service menu, hold down both the left and right arrows, and it will reset everything to the defaults. Uh, as far as the telemetry that's available, it will give you voltage, amperage, and capacity from both batteries, uh, as well as you know maintaining a log of the min and max values there, viewable both in the transmitter, uh, on the display telemetry, and by going into the menu on your jetty box, you can see that as well. That's under your actual values. So if you jump into actor values, it will give your voltage amperage being drawn uh, immediately in that screen. So we're gonna go ahead and jump out of there now. Uh, those are the basics for setting it up. Uh, like I say, it is set up to auto recognize what protocol you're using. So if you are a Jetty user, simply plug the uh, throttle connection on the ESC version, plug the throttle connection in, uh, which would be the primary output, and plug your telemetry lead into your telemetry port, either EXT, E1, or E2 on your REX receivers, uh, and you're all set to go. Uh, very simple to use, very simple to operate and a great switch is something we've been waiting for for a long time for the little higher power setups that aren't using a central box. Uh, if you're running a 50cc airplane with a Rex 12 and a backup receiver, this is a great way to get dual battery and not have to worry about the amperage capacity of something like the DSM-10. This is a 30 amp switch capacity, uh, so this will handle those bigger units without any worries. So again, this is the Elite Series T60 and T60 ESC. If you have any questions about anything you saw today uh, or want to pick one of these up, jump on over to espritech.com or give us an email at support at espritech.com. Thanks and have a great day.